Saint Marines fired here and today we will be modding the new heavy assault rifle that came out yesterday with a phalanx upgrade. Initially I'm gonna show you what you should be using on the gun according to my opinion of course and then we're gonna make a comparison to the pulse rifle, the very first gun you get in the game and see if there's anything off with this particular beast. So let's get to it. The Type 88 Heavy Assault Rifle has 70 accuracy and 80 stability, 171 damage per bullet, 8.8 .8 fire rate, reload speed of 210, magazine capacity of 45, max ammo of 450, quick point damage of 200, pretty standard, and stumble chance of 15. We're gonna see the perks here for a sec. The first gives it effective range, the second also effective range, the third gives it fire rate, and the fourth gives it 1% fire rate stacking up to 5 times and resetting on reload with a magazine capacity of 45 if you land the first 5 hits by the 5th you will be enjoying plus 5% fire rate so all in all the gun seems like it didn't really need much effective range as gifted here for the two first perks the biggest problem you will encounter with this thing is that the spread doesn't allow for much accuracy much like the kramer before it this gun has a lot of inaccuracy tied to its spread pattern no matter how much you try to tie it up if you get combat steams from a dock you might see a higher percentage of hits per burst but as it stands it's not very viable for continuous fire over greater distances nor is it very viable for short control bursts we're gonna see how we can improve it and then we're gonna discuss comparisons so for the medium muzzle boosted plus hider effective range plus 40 percent weak point damage for five seconds non-stackable high velocities fire rate handling plus stumble chance Muzzle break is stability plus range on hit. Vent break is weak point damage plus handling. Precision break, weak point damage and effective range. And ported compensator is fire rate 20% and stability 30%. Now, if I put on any of the stability related muzzles here, you see we're going from, 40, from 80 to 84. Uh, I don't know what the problem with the numbers in this game is. I'm gonna have to make a video just discussing how messed up the whole metrics are when it comes to how the game calculates the effectiveness. The only thing that is always consistent is fire rates, reload times, like if you go to weak points, if you go to stumble chance and so on and so forth, it really is a mess. Its number means whatever it wants. But for this gun, we need to get above that 8.8 .8 rate of fire. High velocity can do this with us, it gives us handling and it gives us a higher stumble chance. This gun can be built for stumble, starting at 15%, but I don't think it should be our main focus. I will go with ported compensator just to capitalize on the fire rate. The 20% is very substantial, takes us all the way up to 10.4. The added stability is always welcome, although the numbers don't necessarily reflect that. So we're going for medium magazines here. Alloyed magazine is reload speed and magazine capacity. Casket magazine is fire rate and max ammo. Drum magazine is magazine capacity, max ammo and reload speed when empty. Weight magazine is magazine capacity handling and stability and range on shot stacking five times resetting on reload. Pretty decent. Smart round is fire rate, stability handling and 20% aim assist. And quick draw magazine is reload speed, stability and 20% handling and reload speed. Usually I'd go for smart rounds is one of my favorite attachments but for this specific weapon i'll go casket for two reasons it takes our fire rate to 12 that is substantial combo increase over the end point eight and uh, the extra ammo you will be carrying is also very serviceable on higher difficulty settings so this is i think is the ideal choice now for optics you want this gun to be strafable you sometimes will have to fight from the hip each one of the slugs will cause substantial damage so if you get pressed you will be able to make some strafe shots and maybe lag a couple of headshots on the runners so anything that gives us a scope is out of the question green dot is weak point damage and effective range hybrid optics is accuracy zoom magnification plus damage minus fire rate when standing still we don't want that Illuminated scope is a scope we do not want that, nor do we want rangefinder. Red dot side is accuracy with point damage, effective rate, and zoom. 
and laser sight is accuracy weak point damage and reveals enemies for three seconds on hit this is always good if you had the recon with red is dead on but for me the best one here is red dot side a flat bonus to many of these guns stats that overall increases its performance in order for us to achieve this very substantial fire rate increase we have to sadly uh, sacrifice the reload time of the gun but really cannot he be helped if we swap anything here to improve our reload time let's say for example a Lloyd magazine we are going down 1.6 bullets per second which is very very substantial for a gun that shoots as slow as this out of the box I think it's a one-way trip for this good news is that the gun is serviceable unlike some of the other guns that we got yesterday and that you will find one more vid of today on my channel a bit later on I'm gonna leave that as a surprise bad news is I don't know why you would use this instead of some other choices except of course if you want variety in your life we go to our rifle stab and we have this equipped we can see the stats here very understandable we explained earlier if we go to the pulse rifle or even better if we compare it to the pulse rifle from this window here the pulse rifle is more accurate the pulse rifle is more stable the pulse rifle has a higher magazine capacity and it also has higher uh, lower reload time meaning that it reloads faster in case you're thinking that uh, something might be off with the reload time i have smart rounds here that doesn't affect the reload time in any way i could have casket here taking the rate of fire even higher but sacrificing some of the other perks that smart rounds gives you smart rounds can be applied to the pulse rifle because its stats are so healthy if we make this swap on the heavy rifle the gun becomes kind of shitty and that's my big question here they're so reserved when it comes to creating or buffing weapons the content is challenging like extreme and insane are very challenging content but the weapons themselves don't seem to bring anything new to the table that might change things up a bit or make stuff more accessible the phalanx surely isn't the class that can substitute something else out of the top hitters that being the gunner the technician and either recon or demo for playing high difficulty content and this thing here comparing it for example to the kramer it has a huge differentiation when it comes to its optimal damage and the Kramer can stumble like crazy is a totally different situation because of its initial setup and how you can actually grow it and make it more effective. I do not know why it had to hit this strange spot in between the two. Even comparing it with the Halberd that's more of a convenience weapon than a performance one. It seems that it doesn't really have a place it can work for you maybe you will manage to get a specific shot pattern out of it that will make it optimal for all scenarios or make it more effective for larger ranges but as it stands now is variety for the sake of variety without bringing anything new to the table like the pike i can understand i will be upgrading it soon and bringing you a video about it because it's a bolt action rifle sniper rifle with huge damage numbers attached to it totally different from all our dmrs all our sniper rifles but this is a serviceable weapon that doesn't really shake up the meta doesn't change things up substantially enough and to be totally honest you can use it but you will be better off just using the pulse i wanted to make this comparison because yesterday's weapons have been very underwhelming and i don't seem to be the only person thinking that this is the case so i'm making more content like that every day at least two modding guides per day in addition to the rest of the gameplay if you found this content helpful sub like and share and until next time be well stay frosty and always strive for perfection cheers